All right, I'm back. So I've been playing around for a couple of hours. I come up with uh, some ideas that I think are pretty cool. Uh, and it's what I'm going to take moving forward onto the drums when we go to record live drums. Uh, so I'm just going to go through each track that I've used and show you what I've done and why I've done it. So the first sound I found in Omnisphere was this freezing the bows, which is under the arpeggiated and rhythm section, freezing the bows. Let's go back to the main mixer window in Omnisphere. So this is what it sounded like. And then I recorded that in, and we get this. Cool, just using three chords, and then letting the patch itself do the work. Um, what I did then was I had a look through and found um, this nice sound called Airy and Wet Flutes. So let's have a click on that one and have a listen. So that sounds like this. No, it doesn't. Why doesn't it? Because I'm not on the correct track here. Because so remember what I said in the first video, you've got to make sure that the, uh, the track that's got the sound loaded, in this instance, number four, is loaded to create a sound. Now I recorded the exact same thing into this sound. And then those two layered up sounds like this. Next up, I recorded a bass line, and that is this sound down on channel seven, which sounds like this. And then I laid that part in with the others, and we got this. So that's the verse, or what I'm going to use for the verse, and it's just got three elements from Omnisphere. On the stylus side of things, we have got uh, the kick drum doesn't come in straight away, but these claps, which were just a loop. And then a few bars later, the kick drum comes in, which was this sample that I found that I quite liked. Let's go back a little bit. Cool, and now I mentioned in the other video that I like the transition um, sweeping sounds that you can get in in Omnisphere. So I've added one in that leads into the verse. So you'll hear that. You'll hear a few other sounds that I'll talk you through in a second, but I'll just play you the um, transition. Transition sounds like this. So in context, this is what it sounds like leading into the a nice spacey effect and it is cool it covers up that, that one bar that we got. all right now moving into the chorus I use the same chords but in this track I'm just going to sort of build elements around the main idea um, we have got in stylus this percussion loop which sounds really cool let me play it for you Oh, and then that 
in context with everything else. Let's play it for you. So I'll play it with the sweeper in there as well. to add an extra element just to keep it building throughout the chorus i could add lots of other things lots of guitar parts and things as well so i want to leave a little bit of space i don't want too many ideas but we've got this triangle which again is a is a loop it sounds like this good it's panned slightly over into the right hand side and then let's hear what that sounds like So that's the uh, the stylus elements. All we've got is a kick drum, some claps, uh, a percussion loop, and some sort of triangle on top of that. And that continues and comes in and out throughout the arrangement I've made here. There's a couple more things in Omnisphere during the chorus there. Let's have a look into those. So let's close stylus for now. So looking at Omnisphere. <laughs> these claps, these sort of reverberated claps just to add a bit of space. They come in just once in a while. Which you can hear in the background. And what else have we got? We've actually changed the bass sound. And it's a bit more of a... There's a bit more going on with this bass sound, so let's have a listen to it. Let's get that track armed. Why is it not working? It's because I got behind channel five. Just a nice punchy sound to go underneath. And then, was there anything else? No, that's it. So we kind of got a, an intro. Let's get Stylus back involved. We've got an intro, which is just going to be the synth and the pad together. That's the arpeggiated synth and the pad. Then I'm going to bring in some vocals here. This will be verse one. Goes on for a bit. And then we've got our first chorus. I have forgotten to show you one more sound. We've got a little hook in Omnisphere. Let me show you that. I forgot to bring that one back in. Which is this called Square Blippies. Just a little. Oop, next track. I'll play for you quickly. Something along those lines. I think it was uh, an octave up. But yeah, in context, let's have a listen to it. Panned this way. So I'm just going to unsolo everything quickly. So it's back to standard. I'm going to do the same in stylus. Where is the main mixer? There we go. 
So we've got structure wise, we have an intro, verse, chorus. Verse, we're going to break it down a little bit in the second verse. So no kick drum again. And then start bringing things back. Up. Another chorus, and then we've got this bridge, which I just recorded a different bass line and kept the top synth lines. That sounds like this. a double chorus. Of course, you get an idea. I've just sort of put this structure together um, quite quickly. Um, I'm trying to keep things flowing, doing a new video uh, every couple of days. So I've got quite a lot to cover. Um, yeah, I'm going to create some stems of each one of these tracks. I'm going to bounce them out as audio files. Um, so if you create your own session at home, which is 120 beats per minute, doesn't matter what software you use, you'll then be able to drag in the um, this arrangement that I've got here and have a play with yourself. Um, that way, you know, if you haven't got Omnisphere and Stylus, as I know they're quite expensive, um, you could still have a mess around with the session, especially as I start adding in guitar parts and vocals. Uh, you can put it all together, try some stuff we're going to learn. But yeah, that's how I sort of come up with some ideas. I've just, I've sat here for a few hours playing around. Uh, I put down some chords. Uh, I worked out what key we were in and then used some notes that work in that key. Um, and just really had a bit of fun with this. Um, next up, I'm going to record some guitars. Um, and then we're going to go down and record some real drums a full drum kit and start putting it together so don't forget if you want access to any of these files or more tutorial videos that go into the specifics um, then head over to skewsmusic.com which is my website uh, and sign up over there and i'll give you access to everything that we're working on uh, it doesn't cost a penny uh, it's completely free uh, if you like this video give it a thumbs up give it a like give it a share all the usual stuff and uh, if you've got any suggestions on things i can make videos on stuff you'd like to know or see, then just pop it in the comments box below and uh, we'll go from there. Cheers, it was great to have you with me. I'll uh, catch you on the next video. So cool.